Hey guys, it's Jason. And I've been getting a lot of questions about this Nova coin. I recently did a video about how it exploded in price. I mean, just truly, truly just blew through the red line. But, you know, people notice that and they say, well, this price has really exploded. And they get curious. They look into coins like they should, a good investor does. And they say, what is going on here? What is the, making this value of this coin, Nova coin, doing so well? And, of course, if you research, as, you know, like I said, a good investor would, I've had a lot of people email me and, you know, Skype me and stuff, and they've asked me questions like, for instance, you know, there, there's been 200,000 pre-mined Nova coins by the creator. And people are worried. They say, you know, that's a lot of money. And that's a lot of, you know, potential devastation to the market. And people have been asking me, you know, asking me, so I thought I would do a video not just about Nova coin, but about pre-mining. Now, this is something that really isn't brought up too much anymore. Back in the day of the early altcoins, pre-mining was really one of these ways that it was questioned. I'll put it like that. Because what you had happened was, you had coins that would get started, and they would be so small, and you know very few people would be mining into them, that you could do a double spend on those coins. Or, you know, whatever other system it would be to prevail over that coin. And so one of the ways that people would kind of speed up adoption, I guess you could say, is they would pre-mine, the developer would pre-mine it for say a week or so, whatever, and he would then take certain amounts and allocate that, you know, he might say though the first exchange to accept my coin gets, you know, 20,000 coins, and then the, first, the second exchange gets 10,000, and then 5,000. And this was an incentive to some of the smaller exchange sites as well as some of the you know, moderate, middle-of-the-line exchange sites for cryptocurrencies to start accepting these coins, which then adds to the coin's value and allows it to be mined. A lot more people want to mine it, and therefore increases the price and also increases the, the security of this coin. But the fact that people were doing this kind of put the whole coin into question. It's like, okay, we can maybe kind of understand why you want to get exchanges on board, but why do you as a developer deserve to have 200,000 coins? Or, you know, 100,000, or however, however many you mine. And the argument against that was, well, the developer is not getting, any, in, getting paid to keep updating the coin, while these other people, you know, are jumping on the coin, mining it like crazy and getting a lot of money. Now, from that, you might assume that I'm very, you know, pro pre-mining, and I'm not. If you look historically, most cryptocurrencies that have been pre-mined don't do very well. Yeah, I, I think at the time, um, actually one of my favorite, you know, smaller coins, IX coin, I believe I, I'm not mistaken that it was actually pre-mined. But when, when you know, it, it caused a lot of controversy. If I remember right, and um, don't hold me this, you know, don't hold me factually to this, but I believe he deleted all those coins. I think it was like a hundred thousand or so, which takes a lot of guts for a developer to delete that many coins that could potentially be worth billions or millions, depending on how well that coin does. Now, I looked around, I couldn't find a definite answer whether those 200,000 coins still exist or they have been destroyed. Most assume that at least a portion of those still exist. So it is that kind of overwhelming system, you know, of knowledge over the coin. One must then ask themselves, how does that calculate into the risk, into the reward of the coin? You know, at a value, I think, you know, Nova Coin's doing really well. I think it was like 10 or so. I mean, it was doing good. You know, you times that by 200,000 coins, that's pretty good. But I do agree with the argument that the developer has to be you know, have to have, you know, a reason to keep developing. You know, um, Sunny God, I, I really hope I say that right. I always feel like I mistake his name. And I, I look it up and I forget it again. It's, it's really strange. But one of the best developers, developer of PrimeCoin and PureCoin, honestly, probably the best besides, you know, the Bitcoin developers, probably the best developer for crypto coins. He just does an amazing job. And one of the things is, he didn't pre-mine his coins. He would usually pre-announce his coins like um, Prime Coin. He announced like seven days in advance, which I actually heard about it and was able to then therefore download all the programs on all of my computers and start mining them. Back when it was like, you know, a couple of computers could get you some kind of money, you know what I mean? But it's always been this, you know, long debate, you know, pre-mined coins, you know, or pre-announced coins. And, you know, it's difficult to decide. I know, you know, if I remember right, Bitcoin, one of the controversies was they came out uh, like 24 hours before and they were like, okay, we're coming out with this coin. 
And people don't really have enough time to vet that coin, where with you know prime coin and somewhat with peer coin, you, they were to have time to research into the code, to vet the sources, and then also vet the code, you know, that kind of runs the whole crypto coin. You know, and I'm getting a lot of questions, and I, you know, I don't give financial advice, and I state that in every video. People ask me, what do I think? You know, in, one, in my previous video, I talked about how I was afraid NovaCoin was getting a little too expensive for its value and its, you know, backing code, and how you know some of the stuff wasn't working right. But one of the things that um, scares me about pre-mined coins is the potential of the creator to say, "I'm done with this coin," to stop development and to sell all those coins on the market, literally crashing that price and really doing an artificial pump and dump from the very creation of that coin. And really, the people that you know invest in that coin and saw potential in it, therefore loses all their money. It's a difficult question to kind of figure out, you know. And I don't like telling people, you know, yes or no. I just like to inform you that realize the potentials of pre-mining versus you know pre-announcing. Realize that there is a danger, you know, that you have to have a good medium. You know, what I mean, if you can have exchanges willing to adopt your coin without giving them, you know. A percentage or a coinage, you know, of a token for the index after, and then it's fine. But there is a fear that you know those tokens or those crypto coins could have a huge potential, you know, backlash on the economy if you know the people that hold that many coins decide to just you know cash out. As we see with Bitcoin, when people try to cash out millions, you know, the price drops. It drops, and you know when you when you have a crypto coin that it's that small, even though it's been jumping incredibly, so it's not that small anymore it's worrisome so in the end my final conclusion I don't think it's that big a risk but it's definitely something that I would keep on my you know number one or number two triggers that if something ever started to go wrong with Nova coin I'd really use that data to consider whether I value keeping those coins or whether I value dropping those coins hey guys thanks for watching have a great night